Uh, reason why I decided to come to an HBCU. Well, one, because the ratio to the teacher to student is real good. So like I'll be able to interact with my teacher and she'll know me. He or she would know me by a first name basis. And uh, I, would just, I just wanted to learn more about my African descent. And uh, that's pretty much why I decided to come to HBCU. Um, basically, I've been in predominantly black schools my whole life, so I was like, why change it up? You know, do the same thing. Um, I like I like uh, going to predominantly black schools. I mean, same people who I've been around my whole life, you know. And I like that, you know, there's black people who are trying to achieve something, uh, get an education. And that's just a lot of positive energy, so that's basically the reason I chose HBCU. A lot of my teachers, they went to HBCUs, they loved the experience. They came back uh, to the classes and they told us about it. And uh, I liked it, so that's mainly the reason. I decided to come to an HBCU because my entire family graduated from HBCUs. And I think it's important that we support our black colleges and that's it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Personally, I came to HBCU for the fact that I, I had attended um, a majority of uh, Caucasian schools for, for my whole life, except for, I guess I'd say about two years. So I, I just wanted to get the experience, you know, with my, my fellow brothers and sisters of the motherland. Uh, the reason why I wanted to go to HBCU was um, I'm from Jersey. I went to a very diverse high school over a lot of white people, a lot of Asian people. And I really didn't get to interact with a lot of black people that actually had substance. So coming to HBCU with, you know, a high quality, high standard black kids was something I always wanted to do. All right, uh, I decided to come to HBCU because uh, all my life I've just been influenced to, to come to an HBCU considering that my mother and my father both went to HBCU. All of their friends went to HBCU, so I just always been growing up knowing, like, okay, I'm going to go to an HBCU. Um, the experience is always uh, a great one, uh, social, socially networking, all that. And you, you gain a better relationship. I feel as though when you go to an HBCU with other people, than for you to go to an average school, it's just more of a personal type of relationship that you gain. So, yeah. I decided to come to an HBCU because I felt as though. This is the only place where I can fit in. Um, I went to a mixed high school with a whites and blacks. So it was fun, but I felt as though for my high school, I needed to be more affiliated with um, African Americans. Okay, I decided to go to HBCU because my principal went to Clark Atlanta, and he's been very successful with what he's pursuing. So um, I decided to go to Atlanta, to Clark Atlanta because it's much different from where I'm from, and that's it. All right. Why did I decide to come to an HBC? Well, honestly, I didn't. This was, I didn't even apply to Morris College. My mentor applied for me without me even knowing. And I got the acceptance letter around April, and I didn't know what Morris was. And I looked into it and I saw the history and it was different. It was the only HBCU that I was applied for since I didn't apply personally. And honestly, I only came here because I got a full scholarship. Yeah. What? I'm oh, sorry, what? You serious? Yeah. Well, uh, me. <laughs> I didn't get a full scholarship, but I mean, <laughs> I applied late. And got accepted uh, two weeks before it was time to come down. Uh, my uncle worked at the <laughs> my uncle worked at the Morehouse School of Medicine down the street, so that's why I know a little bit about Morehouse. But you know, I get here and I know all the history. Hey, I'm here.